hello everyone and welcome to my Trauma Center Second Opinion walkthrough, a game that I've wanted to play on here for the longest time. Believe me. Anyway, let's start a brand new game. I'm going to be playing this on hard because I'm masochistic like that, but if you're a brand new Trauma Center player, always play on easy if you can. Even easy will destroy you. <laughs> this game is probably one of the hardest games out there. Or, or I should say the game series in general is one of the hardest out there. Anyway, let's get this walkthrough started. In other words, we stole ideas. No, I'm just kidding. They wouldn't do that. <laughs> this game actually takes place years into the future. So, yeah, that's why they're saying it's a coincidence. Because if they ever find the cure to things in our present time and, you know, it's already cured in-game, you get the idea. So, this is the intro to the game, of course. Uh, prologue, as the game calls it. This is how the game story is told. Through this game's anime-ish, manga-ish, manga, whatever you want to call it, type of cutscenes. And yes, I would love to continue this storyline if you would let me, thank you. Um, as you see at the difficulty up there, it's on hard, you can switch that by pressing the Z and C buttons on your nunchuck. C makes it go easier, Z makes it harder, and as I said, I'm playing through everything on hard. So, yeah, here we go, wish me luck. Oh. God, I think I'm going to be regretting this. Not these easier, earlier operations, but the later ones. They are probably going to destroy me time and time again. Just saying. <laughs> anyway, this is Mary. She is my surgical assistant at this time. Don't get too attached to her right now. She is temporary, basically, in terms of this game's storyline. So, yeah, and then this guy is someone else new that we'll meet, Dr. Greg Caskell. Uh, Caskell, Castle, excuse me. The head of whole hospital surgical department, as it says. But, yeah, he is my superior, basically. For now. <laughs> basically, I I'll... I am currently inexperienced, this is me. I am this handsome, young surgeon. Why is he handsome? Because he's me, of course, so why... Why wouldn't he be if, you know, and anyway, let's go. <laughs> so, yeah, I am currently inexperienced at, t at this, this time, but I have beat this game like 650 times in the past, but it still gets me at times. But the game still considers me experienced, but that's because I started a new save file. But in the context of my experience, it certainly doesn't. So, we've got to help this guy out, as you've seen in this story here. So, he, somehow he lost control of his motorcycle and crashed through a glass door. Now, let's just think about this for a second. He crashed through a glass door. How much control could he have possibly lost? Like... If you lose control of a motorcycle that much to crash through a glass door, you would have to be, like, really veering off the main roads anyway. <laughs> I mean, a glass door is something you would see in a parking lot. Wow. What, would the guy would go, like, 50 miles per hour in a parking lot or something like that? I don't know. <sighs> but we gotta help him out, Starting but uh, don't worry about it. He's not in all that much danger, but we will do our best. And at the beginning of every operation, I will have a little box showing all the little bonuses that you need to get in order to get a XS rank or S rank, depending on your difficulties on this game. Like, in, on the hard mode, you will be able to get up to an XS rank, but on easy and normal, you will get up to an S rank at maximum. And that's basically it. So, now we're going to stitch some stuff, and I would like to teach you guys how to stitch properly, because a lot of people just, like, do some really weird formations and stuff like that across these cuts. Yeah, 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 I know, I'm explaining it, nurse. Okay. <laughs> what you want to do is you want to go over the cut in a zigzag fashion as fast as you can, and you should get a cool or good rank, like this. Now, oh, there we go. <laughs> I was a little bit off the cut, so that's why I didn't register the first time. Accuracy doesn't matter as much as speed does, for whatever reason. See what I mean? 
So there you go. Now we gotta take the uh, super. Gotta take the forceps here. Oh, by the way, everything is pretty much controlled with just the A button and the Wii Remote pointer. Uh, this is done with the A and B button at the same time, like you're pinching a pimple or something like that. And I was really off there. Maybe I have the Wii Remote set to be a little too sensitive. I don't know. <laughs> So, you also don't want to touch the sides, just like Operation. <laughs> I, I think there's a little bit of uh, copyright infringement. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, this is the gel. You just move over a small cut, and it'll heal it instantly once you put the gel on top of it. Um, there's two different kinds of main cuts. Like, those are tiny cuts. The other ones that I had to suture were large cuts. Cuts that you can't suture, just go over with the gel. Uh, cuts that you can't gel go over with the suture. You get the idea. And you control these things right here, your instruments of operating here, by uh, moving the control stick on your nunchuck in the direction. Like for instance, I would press up to select my gel to disinfect this area of my incision, like so. And carefully go down, but still go down fast, because remember, speed is more important than accuracy. And there's some glass fragments in here, so we just gotta pull them out just like we did on the surface. So let's do that. These are a lot a lot longer than the other ones, so be careful with that. These are all gel wounds. You can always tell by their size. Get used to how this looks so that you get the hang of it. And there we go. I took a long time to uh, do this operation, even though this can be done in like less than 30 seconds. But I just did that for the sake of... You know, explaining everything, you get the idea. I could do a ton better, and I have, of course, excess rank this one. Now That's disinfect, good. or I should say, stop the bleeding of the area with the gel. Gel can also be used to stop bleeding of things, so grab, now grab this bandage. Start from one end of the cut, and go all the way down to the bottom of the cut as quickly as you can. Good job, like that, and you'll get a cool rank. And there we go. I'm gonna get a horrible rank anyway, because I got a few misses in there, which ruined my freaking combo! Yeah, in order to keep your combo going, you need OKs, and... Well, actually, I got a rank for six cools, so I guess that's pretty good. But, you need to keep your combo going if you want to get high ranks on here, and misses or bads will not do it for you, so make sure you keep them in the good, cool, and OK ranges. And, yeah, screw you, I was explaining it to my peeps. And, no, it wasn't all that hard. Surgery isn't hard at all. Who needs medical school for ten years? That is ridiculous. Oh, I can sit in these, I can definitely see improvement of furting, isn't everything? <laughs> oh, I'll see you in the janitor's closet later. Yeah, she's kind of into me for whatever reason, or at least it seems like that in the story. You'll see what I mean a little bit later. Next one, we are going to be removing some tumors, so let's get this sucker started, and I think this is going to be the last operation that I'm going to be doing in this part, because my first parts of my walkthroughs are always filled to the brim with beginner's tutorials, so we gotta remove this tumor before it turns malignant, and I hope this is gonna go pretty well, I think it's going to go pretty well, I mean, come on, this is only the second operation in the game. <sighs> Why am I going on a rant here? I don't know. And evidently I'm also quite the slacker and the I'm not playing games, but at the same time, I am playing a game, so that's kind of ironic here. So I can really relate to Derek here in more ways than one, because I am a pretty absent-minded person <laughs> by nature. <laughs> so yeah. As I said, Game Story has played all through these anime-like cutscenes. I gotta say, they look really, really good. Really high-quality anime-like cutscenes. I don't know why, it just has a really good art style to it. I like it a lot. And uh, for some reason they're talking about something, as you've seen there, but they aren't letting me on it myself. That would be... <clears throat> That's kind of rude of them, if you ask me. But I would like to go on a cruise here. But then again, my vacations, I wouldn't really consider traveling for a vacation, honestly. My, my ideal vacation is just relaxing at home, playing video games, to be honest. So, yeah, I mean, the video gaming is a lot cheaper. <laughs> I'm gonna say that right now. A lot cheaper than a traveling vacation. I know the idea with traveling to go on vacation is to get away from it all, you know, get away from all your stresses and stuff like that. But, I don't know. You can... 
just gladly ignore it at home and play video games. <laughs> or at least that's, what I, that's what I would do. Anyway, let's begin the operation here as I rambled on about insignificant off-topic subjects. Here we go, and it's, this operation is going to be like the review in question of uh, cuts here, or I should say incisions, and whoop, there we go, cool rank for the win. I'm going to attempt to get a better rank here. You notice that the vitals went down there, that's part of the game story. Nothing you can do about that. This is the introduction of the syringe. This is the vial of something. I don't know, but it's definitely good at healing health. That's Just inject it right into the organ or wherever you want. As long as you're on the screen, it'll work. I don't know why you can inject it into anything else and it'll work, but it will. Anyway, you want to activate the ultrasound right here. Oh, would you look at that? I found the tumor on my first try. It's as if I knew this operation. From, like the back of my hand, now just cut it out with your scalpel, just as if you were making your initial incision. Now drain it with the drain tool, you just select it that, with that one there, with the control stick, no problem whatsoever. Now just cut it out, make sure you touch all of these dots, that's how you cut out things. Just like real surgery, that's just how real surgery goes. You have a lot of dots inside of your body, I bet you didn't know that, but now you do. See, this is what I mean, you don't need that 10 years of medical school to learn how to do <laughs> surgery. And so yeah, put the membrane on, gel it, well, put the membrane on after extracting the tumor, then gel it, and that's how you remove and heal up tumors. Amazing, isn't it? It's like there's no scarring whatsoever. And look at that, got a cool rank for the win, and maybe I'll get a pretty good rank on this one because I'm going at a decent job, speed and sense. I've got quite a bit of accuracy in this one as opposed to the other one. Let's see what I get. What are my bonuses? I like my bonuses! Give me, give me, oh! One away from the XS rank. I was probably just too slow there because I was explaining things, but yeah, you get the idea. And after this little cutscene, I am going to end off this part. And there we go. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this part, and I'll see you in the next part. Toodaloo!